Did none of the unfortunate creatures survive, Doctor? No, my lady. Had even a leaf survived and fallen on fertile soil, a vervoid would have grown. Every vervoid was destroyed by your ingenious plan. Yes. Whether or not the doctor has proved himself innocent of meddling is no longer the cardinal issue before this court. He has proved himself guilty of a far greater crime. You refer to Article 7 of Gallifreyan law? No, my lady, that cannot apply. Had a single vervoid reached Earth, a human race would have been eliminated. Article 7 permits no exceptions. The doctor has destroyed a complete species. The charge must now be genocide. I want you to meet my darker side. We're not dealing with reality. All my travelings throughout the universe, I have battled against evil, against power-mad conspirators. I should have stayed here. The oldest civilization, decadent, degenerate, and rotten to the core. Power-mad conspirators, Daleks, Sontarans, Cybermen. They're still in the nursery compared to us. Ten million years of absolute power. That's what it takes to be really corrupt. The Matrix can be physically penetrated. And who would do such a thing, even if it were possible? The Balliard. The Doctor's well matched against himself. One must destroy the other. I'm known as the Master. How utterly evil. And as you see, I speak to you from within the Matrix. Proof, if any be needed that not only qualified people can enter here. Oh no, now I really am finished. This is an illusion. I deny it. Not this time. This isn't happening. Now the Gallifrey is collapsing into chaos. None of you will be needed. Your office will be abolished. Only I can impose order. I have control of the Matrix. It's too late. Only by releasing myself from the misguided maxims of these natural can I be Yes. Yes, you do that, Mr. Popplewick. Unless we are prepared to sacrifice our lives for the good of all, then evil and anarchy will spread like the plague. It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. It is a far, far better rest that I go to. Perhaps nothing in my life has ever been so important.